When a person says in his salah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Allah Almighty responds and he says, my servant has praised me. Think about that for a moment. Allah Jalla Jalaluhu, who is managing and controlling and governing the affairs of the universe, he hears your recitation and he responds to you individually. And he acknowledges your recitation and he says, you have just praised me. Can you think about what that means? And then when you say, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most gracious, the most merciful, Allah responds and he says, Athna alayya abdi, my servant has spoken highly of me. Subhanallah. Wa idha qala al-abdu, Maliki yawmiddin, when you say, Maliki yawmiddin, owner of the day of judgment, Allah responds and he says, Majjadani abdi, my servant has glorified me. And then what do you say? You alone we worship. You alone we seek for assistance. Allah responds. And He says, This is something between me and my servant, and I'm going to give him what he asks for. There is a request now that is coming up. And what is the request you're going to make that Allah has promised that He's going to give you? It is? Ihdina. Sirat al Mustaqim, guide us to the straight path. The greatest request that can be made, guide us to the straight path. Keep us firm upon the straight path. Allow us to die upon the straight path. If that one dua is given to you in your life, you are successful in the dunya, you have prospered in the hereafter. Sirat al Ladina and Amta Alayhim, the path of those whom you have conferred your favor upon. Not the path of those who have earned your wrath and not the path of those who went astray. And then when you say this, Allah responds and He says, This will be for my servant and I will give him what he has requested. La ilaha illallah. Ni'ama. To realize that Allah Al-Malik is hearing your Qur'an, He is responding to you. And that's why some of our predecessors like Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, when he would recite Al-Fatiha, he would pause in a noticeable fashion between the verses of Al-Fatiha. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Pause. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Pause. Ar-Rahmanir Rahim. Pause. So they said to him, why do you do that? He said, so that I can experience the bliss and the joy of my Lord's response. He's, he's, he's understanding these meanings and he's, he's living with it and interacting with it. My Lord is responding. I don't want to rush Al-Fatiha. <laughs>